generic eBay blow off valve review here. So they're pretty cheap. Are they worth it? Um, do they leak? How they sound? Um, let's go over that here. Um, so I have two blow off valves in front of me. One is uh, an eBay blow off valve um, that is specific to a Subaru. Um, this was for an 0207 Subaru. Uh, it attached to the intercooler directly. Um, it has this horn on, as you can see. There is no option to really tighten this down. You could, I guess you could go in and put a washer in between the spray and the piston, but there's no real option um, readily available there. Nipple and then the horn. The horn you can actually unscrew and take off. Um, it's going to make the sound a little bit louder, obviously, with the horn on. That's kind of its purpose. Yeah, you can take that off and see the piston go up and down. Okay, so that one's that one's non-universal. That one's kind of uh, super and WRX specific. This one, because I installed a frontline intercooler and I needed a new one that wasn't um, that specific. Uh, this one is universal. A um, couple cons with this right away are it has a smaller um, outlet here, excuse me, inlet than most universal ones will. So you need to buy, I needed to buy at least, not everyone will need to do this, but a, a custom hose. Um, so one that goes smaller to larger for for the normal like, kind of like 1.25 inch um, holes that are left or nipples that are left for blow off valves. So that's one con, it's a very small one. And the second one is even more minor. Um, this blow off valve cost $16. This one costs $31 because it's more specific, both on eBay. Um, this one was called a Whistler. And I didn't know why it was called a Whistler. Apparently what people are doing now, you can take this adapter off, so the con is now gone. Um, this is actually a whistle. So I'll show a <laughs> video of it on the car, but let me, let me show you what this does. So this is what it'll sound like or something similar on um, higher boost applications. So, air coming out, exactly like a whistle. I, I don't know why that you would want that um, on the blow off valve, but um, I just removed it, and obviously there's no, there's no harm there. So let's go through the install real quick. I'm obviously pretty quick and easy. Um, this is my vehicle. It's a, a 1997 uh, Subaru Impreza up export. Um, and it has an EJ22 stock motor that I just kind of threw a turbo onto. Um, watch my other videos for the background on how to do that. But here is the actual place where we'll be installing the blow-off valve right here. We'll have to put a clamp on there, and then this will go inside here. It's going to be a tight fit. Um, we'll go through that. Uh, I'll install that and then uh, show you when it's done. And then we will take... Um, a quick drive to see how it sounds. Okay, so this is the blow-off valve installed with the hose adapter. Um, I don't need a clamp here, uh, just because you can see already how tight it is. I really had to shove the blow-off valve in there to get it to fit. This side kind of slid on a little bit easier, so I did put a clamp on that, but this isn't going. I can pull that as hard as I can and it won't come out. Uh, it took me a while to get it in. So the last step would be on this nipple here. Um, to install a booster vacuum line source. So I already had this from the other blow-off valve, but we'll just put this on here. And then all you need to do is um, take her for a drive. See how it sounds? And I didn't go over the pros on this. The pros are, um, obviously it's cheap. <laughs> That's a good pro. And that you can actually dial it in. So this actually, you can turn this to make it tighter or to make it uh, looser. Uh, I'm, I'm starting it off pretty pretty tight just because I don't want it to <laughs> um, leak at all. Uh, that's the worry with these blow valves is that they'll leak. Um, so let's take it for a drive. Okay, so on a drive here, this is what it sounds like with the whistle attachment, which I don't know why people would do this, but here you go. that it sounded like a like a firecracker at the end um again I, I don't know why you would put this on 
I'll do it one more time. And then I'm gonna take that off and just get the regular blow up valve sound. But I'm gonna give it a lot of boost so it's really loud. Wow. Okay. So uh, let's pull in and switch that to uh, just a regular blow off valve. Okay. So the Whistler has been removed. Um, now this is just going to be uh, the regular blow off sound just with the whistle removed. Same stretch of road, um, trying to hit the exact same PSI. Obviously this is gonna be a little bit of a sound difference. So um, here we go. kind of your normal blow off valve sound um looking at the boost gauge doesn't look like it's leaking anything um i mean the psi would normally be about the same anyway car felt about the same um one more try here so yeah um boost pressure still the same but i mean you get pretty much the same boost pressure if you had a leak you wouldn't be, really be able to tell um you, i mean that could be happening so, uh, all in all, sounds great. Um, I recommend it. Uh, maybe I just was lucky and got one that was cheap and good, but uh, yeah, for $15, uh, I can't really beat it. If anything changes as far as the, uh, you know, for the longevity of the blow-off valve, I mean, it's a pretty simple piece though. It's just a spring and a piston, maybe some grease. Um, I, I believe it should be working for the long haul, but that's my review on that.